Hey everyone, Alex Camilio here. So last week we talked about your power list and how it is the most important asset in your business. So this week we wanted to follow up and make sure to give you some systems and strategies you can put in place to follow up with that power list and generate business. Now this week we're going to give you two of the four that we're giving overall. Next week we're going to give the other two. But the two this week are really, really important important in your overall strategy. And the reason that is, is that the first one, well, is something we do and you can tell we do, and that is create your own inner circle. I always ask this question, what's the difference between the Ritz Carlton and a Motel 6? They both have beds, right? They both have bathrooms. They both have coffee makers. They're seemingly on the surface in terms of listing out features very much the same. But at a Ritz-Carlton or any of the top end hotels, you feel the difference the moment you step on the property. And that's because they're there to make you feel special. People love to feel special, don't you? So what you want to do is create an inner circle of your top people in your power list that, well, that stand out that refer you business, that send you business, and consistently refer clients to you. Now those folks you want to make feel special, and we have some great ideas in the article for how you can do that, um, including a letter that you can work off of to be able to both uh, get some more information from those folks, as well as make sure that they feel special and part of that inner circle. Now the next thing that we do is we're giving away a system for calling these folks. And let's say you're working a list of 200 people and you want to talk to them every six months. Well, just give it a division of 25 and that means that you're going to need to be calling um, consistently eight a week. You need to be placing eight phone calls a week to make sure that you talk to that power list on an every six month basis and make sure you're staying in touch. And we give you some ideas and some strategies, reasons for calling them um, and, and make it super simple for you to call and follow up with your list. Now, no matter what you're doing, I want to make sure that you are following by some basic guidelines because these all follow the same guidelines. And what that is, is this. First of all, it needs to be special. People, like I said, want to feel special in what you're doing. So any sort of follow-up that you're doing needs to make them feel special in some way. The next thing is it needs to be consistent. And I cannot say this enough. If you are calling every six months, you need to be doing it every six months. Whatever promise you're making to yourself, you need to be keeping it and making sure that you are consistent in your follow-up. Because as we heard last week, every month you go without contacting um, your power list you're going to lose 10% of them. And, and I don't think you can afford to lose that asset in your business. I know I don't want to lose 10% of my most valuable asset on a month over month basis. So you need to be consistent. And like we're talking about in all of this, you need to follow up, follow up over and over and over again. Never feel like that you've won the relationship or that it's, it's solid. You need to reinforce it every single day, um, every month, be there, be that trusted source for people. So as I said, it needs to be special, it needs to be consistent, and you need to make sure that you are following up um, with that power list, because that is a recipe for success. This has been Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com. Thank you so much for joining us, with us this week. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, we have some amazing content coming next week as well, the other two in this list. Um, so again, this has been Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle, signing out. Mm -hmm.